I believe we are now past the point of no return. That place, that point where you can't go back, you can only go forward, whatever that means. Uh, Yesterday, playing Warhammer 40K, I had in hand, the chance, in hand, a 3D printed rhino. I couldn't believe it. Just the detail, what it looked like, the scale. I also got to see a 3D printed Loyalist Space Marine Army with numerous printed rhinos and vehicles painted up. There was no difference. The only difference was very subtle um, in terms of the the feel of the miniature itself and, and the weight was a little bit different. But visually and how it looked and how it played, I don't want to say impossible, but so spot on. And um, this follows the continual march of Games Workshop here where they're continuing to produce fantastic miniatures, absolutely. But the prices to stay competitive in 40K, I think they're unsustainable. So you see people moving to skirmish. You see people moving to kill team. You see people moving to smaller games. And certainly the days of starting three or four armies, I think they're challenging to do that also. So as 3D printing comes online more and more, I mean, it's been mainstream. We've explored that. I've pushed that up to the channel. But even uh, following 3D printing as it relates to Games Workshop, as it relates to the board gaming hobby, as it relates to just custom stuff, Gloomhaven. I'm playing Gloomhaven and there's 3D printed character trays, character cards, token holders, all that type of stuff. That's nothing new in terms of board gaming. But as it interjects itself into our wargaming hobby, into our 40K hobby, to see that physical, to hold that, to push it around on the table, wow. Um, Wow. The the similar effect I had was years ago, many, many years ago, when they introduced the fine cast, seeing casted miniatures recast, whether it was China Forge or some of the bigger pieces from Forge World. The various Titans, you know, those Titans were like $1,000 and you always wanted one. I got to see some castings that they weren't perfect, right? We're talking a number of years ago, but for home cast stuff off of an original Forge World model, they were, they were really close. Thousands of dollars versus pennies on the dollar. And then once it was painted up and weighted, it, it was really, really solid. And, and that was an interesting time back then. But hey, that was big models and Games Workshop was more affordable and the release schedule was a little bit more manageable. But now 3D printing, I think we've crossed that line. So as always, what's Games Workshop going to do? That's different. That is vastly different than what are the hobbyists going to do? And what I mean by that is 40K, the community, the players... We have a relationship with Games Workshop. Games Workshop doesn't really have a relationship with us from that perspective. They dictate, they push out. But every hobby group, no matter how big or how small it is, you have your own, you have your own environment. You have your own feelings. You have your own way of playing 40K. So as long as the miniatures keep flowing, you've still got 40K. And as 3D printing comes online more and more, from a local club standpoint, hobby standpoint, uh, I see that as a really, really interesting place to be because it's going to allow players to try different armies, to build different armies, to play bigger games, to play more diverse games. I think on the hobby side, it's a win. But on the GW side, as they release kits, if they're almost cloned immediately, what's going to happen from that point? Where's that going to go? I mean, you can make things exclusive, but when the exclusive things are immediately cloned, where do you go? How do you navigate that? I mean, I guess you move into premium stuff of books and dice, which they are doing, and limited edition, which they are doing, but it's still primarily models and miniatures. Do you move into toys? Do you move into other gaming aspects? Do you move into the digital area? I'm not just talking about plus, but with movies and things like that. From that perspective. So given that, I think it's at a very, it's been at that crossroad for a while. Absolutely, we'll say this. But 
first time holding that, seeing that, I couldn't believe it. I really, really couldn't believe it. I think it's an interesting turning point for the hobby. So out of curiosity for my fellow 40K players, your gaming group, your gaming club, where do you see 3D printing affecting things? How do you see 3D printing changing the hobby for better or for worse? And how far off are we from that? 